In this tutorial, I'll show you one way in which you might use Blender to create some uh, stage lighting effects or say an uh, indoor television studio or something of that nature. And a lot of that's about lights. Photography, in fact, in general, is about lighting. And so what I've done here is I've simulated some lights and I've added a lot of lights. And that, would, that starts to really bring the scene to life. And, you know, if you think about a concert and all of these kind of productions, they're always loaded with lights and shininess and things like that. So let's uh, take a look at the scene. What I have pretty much, there's not a lot going in it. it it's uh, less than it looks like. What this is back here is just a simple plane with this uh, image texture mapped on it to kind of try and simulate soft lighting like this instead of adding a bunch of lights to the scene and then down here these are actually real lights in the scene to uh, give me these reflections off here so the surface for this has a pretty good specularity set to it was well, it not even that high actually when I think about it so oh, I have it actually pretty low in this case so but everything adds to the effect but what we're going to do in this case is I'll let you worry about doing the texture map on your own from and if you're not sure I have a couple videos on how to do uh, texture maps but the way I generated the, t the map if you don't have an image I generated from if you look at here how these reflections of these lights are well if you look down really close to the end of the scene you can zoom in like this all I had done with an earlier one was generated and zoomed in captured the screen turned that into a image and then mapped it onto the plane for that now, as far as these other effects are concerned this is actually these are actually real lights placed in a circle like this and I'll show you how you set this up in fact I'll just move it over here to the side and we'll do another one real quick so from here I press shift A and I just add a lamp point lamp to the scene and we get my cursor back okay and so there it is in the scene like this and you could you know duplicate it conventionally by moving it out to the side like this and then leaving your cursor at that location make sure your pivot point is at the 3D cursor and then I could set, press shift D to copy and immediately press R Z and maybe give it a value of 45 and then I've copied it to that location right over there as well the other one's still in the scene so but that's kind of the it's kind of the slow way to do it. So I'll put the light back to the center where it was here. Let's verify it's still there. It, there it is. There is in the scene like this. So I'll leave it there. And then instead what, I, what I'll do, what I did in this case over here as well, I'll add a circle to the scene. Let's move this one out of the way, actually. Nope, hang on. Not that one. Let's move this one out of the way. Okay. So there's this one in the scene. Alright, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'll put the cursor back to that selection and then I'm going to add a circle. And this type of circle you have to add is a mesh based circle. Now you don't want a curved circle. I, curves for other things, but mesh for in this case. So we'll add a circle. I'll scale it up like this. And then I want to grab the light and then I want to grab the circle in that order and then I want to parent it to the circle alright so now I've parented it to the circle and what I want to be able to do is use the vertices what we're going to use is every one of the vertices of the circle is going to get an instance of the light and the way you do that is you select the circle and then you go to object mode up here the cube and then you come down here and you press this under duplication verts so you duplicate the verts under blender it's called dupla verts <laughs> and uh, when you do it you get an instance of the light at each one of the vertices you could put anything at that actually if your main object was a cube you'd have cubes all the way around the circle so in this case now the interesting thing is once you've done this if I try and select that light I can't actually select it all I'm selecting is the circle so it's not a real object yet in order to make it a real object, you have to use the command make dupliverts real. And so you can go over here to object and apply, and then come down here and it says make duplicate, dupli duplicates real. We used to call it dupliverts. All right, so you make the duplicates real, 
And but if you, if you notice now, there's I don't see any reflection from each one of these lights in the scene like this one has. Well, you won't until you get rid of now this center cube. I mean center light. And when I do, these lights come to life. So now these are all individual lights like this in the scene. And if you want to move them together, of course, you're going to have to group them because they are now just separate lights like that. And, uh, and that's how I created this effect over here. Right? Now, these lights are really bright. I could have turned those down. But, well, let's see if we can do that really. Let's see if we can grab all these guys real quick because we can't leave this undone. Let's see. I'll just turn everything off for a second. I'll B, see how we can just do them all. Maybe they just, sometimes when they copy, they all know about each other. And let's see if I can knock these down. Oops, knock the energy down. Point one. Mm-hmm. Make it green. Oh, green's terrible in this case. Have a yellow. No, that yellow, I don't even like yellow. We better do aqua, turquoise. Nah, that's not really even that good in this case. We're going to do maybe that's okay. That's, uh, I don't know. Okay, that'll work for the moment. But anyway, oh, so that kind of gives you an idea how I set it up. All right, well, I hope that helps you in your designs, and maybe you can create a cool outdoor rock concert stage or a debut of uh, some fancy vehicle that you've made or something like that. All right, I'll see you in the next lesson.